Avatar The Last Airbender is one of the most beloved animated series ever and quite possibly the best western animation of all time. And like any great animated series, it has been milked absolutely bone dry in adaptation. Since releasing in 2005, Avatar has had a staggering nine full game releases, about one every other year. This does not even include crossover titles which the gang has appeared in or any of the various online and mobile games. And with one exception, they all pretty much I don't know who is asking for this, but 15 years after the end of the series, we are getting yet another terrible looking game called The Quest for Balance. But don't take my word for it. Let's take a look at some of the top comments. Avatar deserves more respect. This game looks like I would have played it on the Wii. Avatar deserves a AAA open world game set in the past where you can create and customize your own avatar and build a fun team of vendors and animal companions. Okay, admittedly, this one looks like it's AI or something. I don't know who leaves comments like this. And these are not like cherry picked comments. These are the first comments on the video. They are all like this. Of all animated series, I think Avatar has the least realized potential in terms of video game adaptations. The one minor exception that I mentioned earlier could be The Legend of Korra, which was developed by Platinum Games, the maker of Bayonetta. But even that game wasn't great. It just kind of rose above the usual level of garbage shovelware that was the Avatar lineup up to this point. It's hard to say exactly what holds back Avatar games from being good. One possible explanation is that Nickelodeon holds onto their properties very tightly and doesn't have a lot of experience experience making anything outside of more formulaic games like sports and kart racers, and their attempt at a platform fighter was pretty mediocre at best. It's also true that Nickelodeon almost always shoots for an E rating to please its customer base of mainly children, and even getting a T rating for Korra was probably a struggle. I mean, this dude straight up murdered someone, like graphically murdered someone, choked the air from her lungs, and this game was approved in the EU for 12 year old. Something did not get translated correctly here. As someone who grew up in the original series, I'm still hoping for a good adaptation of Avatar. Obviously me being me, I want a 2D fighter at some point, but that's probably not going to happen or at least not anytime soon. One thing is for sure though, Quest for Balance has an uphill battle in front of it. It looks bad, everyone who sees it thinks it looks bad, and the built-in fan base is only gonna take the sales so far. I think Quest for Balance looks pretty terrible, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. It does have co-op, I guess. That might be a draw for some people. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.